Good morning. It is um, 6.55 a.m. and I'm up bright and early to catch a flight to New York. I'm spending just one night, maybe like 36 hours in total, um, there for work. Right now I'm just heating up some leftover dinner because I'm starving and airport food at Porter sucks. I used to be a morning person, but now it is so incredibly difficult to get up before the sun which is sad because that just means summer is over because it was dark. It was like pitch black at 6 a.m. when I woke up this morning. lunch at Bubby's and I am now walking back to my stay uh, to get a little bit of work done before leaving our spot again to maybe do some shopping and then grab dinner I love New York though the energy is just so different and I feel like people just work harder I can't figure out I can't put my finger on it but the hustle here is just so real dinner I think we're gonna try to get some pasta in Soho I brought no clothes and barely any makeup so let's see what we can get done here I know, I've kept this bag for like a year because I feel like they got stricter with um, like liquids policy before I used to just put everything in this bag and they never made me take anything out, but I feel like recently I've had to take everything out. This is my completely rush packet last night. I don't even know what I have. I didn't even bring face wash. That's fun. I only wash my face with um, with face wash like two times a week anyway. It's just, you know, when you get off like a flight and you feel kind of like extra dirty, it's always nice to use face wash.
have slept that well in months. I passed out at like, I want to say 10 30 p.m. And I woke up just naturally at 7 a.m. Oops. And it was one of those sleeps so deep that when I woke up, I had a moment of, where am I? <laughs> um, that's how comfortable the sleep was. I'm gonna figure out how to use these lights. They seem easy, but it's kind of confusing. above the bed is slightly flickering. Can you see it? Sit off. Sitting. There we go. That's as good as we're gonna get it. Shot we were at last night. Um, Ruby Rose says it's a pizza joint, and we got seated like at the very back of the restaurant, which was better than the patio because it was wild out. Um, but it was right next to the station where they make pizzas. And about halfway through dinner, I was me and Arthur were like, Why are our eyes burning, and why are our nose so stuffed? And we realized it's because of the smoke, and now. The sweater smells like it too. There are a couple folks staying here in the same spot for the weekend too, so I'm just gonna throw all my sheets into the wash. degrees out and since I only brought two sweaters I'm gonna have to do some layering do I look crazy yes but to be warm is more important I have a New York everyone looks a little bit crazy I'm glad I wore this second sweater. It is so sunny and nice out, but it is cold. Heading over to Gotan to pick up a coffee before some morning meetings that we have. Did I need all those layers? I think so. It still smells like pizza. Now my hoodie smells like pizza. It's fine. I got a flat white without milk. And I find in Toronto, a lot of places don't do flat whites very well. It's really good. One day I'll share what I do for work, but for now, I'll just have to keep guessing. <laughs> we couldn't leave the condo because we have someone in there, so decided to pick up some lunch instead. And yeah, we're back in Bubby's. I secured the goods. One thing that I have really noticed about New York is that they just get hospitality so much better than Toronto. 
which I'm throwing some shade on, but the service is just amazing. I think I was mentioning this before, but like the New York hustle is very real. Um, and I feel like, yeah, you just get better service. I'm happier to tip more. It's amazing, I love it. Do I need to move here? I feel like the answer is yes. We have a delayed flight, delayed by like 45 minutes, and for that reason, lounges are amazing. I get to chill on this big comfy couch for an extra 45 minutes. I got to have a big bowl of pasta, and kale salad, a ginger ale. It's nice. It's definitely worth it if you can afford it. It's about $30, but I feel like I've eaten $30 worth of um, food and drink while here. Very excited to go home though.